Welcome to Revolutionary Motion, where we show you tennis from a different perspective. Today we're going to talk about one of the most common issues we see a lot of players have when they're hitting their volleys. And that issue is that they are stopping their backswing from happening. So most people have heard that you should hit the volleys blocking them rather than swinging through them. And that is partially correct, but there still has to be a backswing and a swing involved. The big difference is that on a forehand backhand serve, you will have a loop on your swing. So this little you know, circular motion back here. While on a volley, you won't. You don't want a loop because you're not trying to swing with your wrist. So on a volley, you don't want to do this. That would be a forehand. Instead, you would try to take your racket back and hit by swinging it forward. So you can see it's just a simple back and forth motion. It has nothing to do with that loop because the wrist itself doesn't swing on a volley. The wrist stays pretty stable. Your forearm turns a little bit to give it slice and that's all that happens to it. Now the problem is that most people hear that they have to block the volleys and all they do is they go towards the ball and they just keep the racket here and walk into the ball. Now obviously you can hit a volley like that and when the ball comes really, really fast you won't have time for a long backswing. But most of the time when you're hitting a volley, when you're approaching the net or even in doubles, the ball doesn't come at you that fast unless you're playing at a very high level. Now when the ball comes at you a bit slower and you don't do anything and just rock, walk towards the ball, run through, it, through the ball like that, or just you know have a super short swing from here, you will see that your volleys always end up short and not very powerful. Now that's not a problem in doubles, for example, because if they're short, they're going to be in your in the net player's feet and you're going to be able to put the ball away like that. But if you're playing singles or you're trying to play the ball to the baseline, that's a big problem. So you need to learn to use a long backswing on your volleys if you have the time to do so. And again, that backswing does not mean that you're trying to you know, create a loop back here. It just means that you're trying to take your racket back with your wrist at a certain angle, having it a little bit bent back, and then you're swinging through the volley with a little bit of shoulder rotation and a little bit of arm movement. The idea is that the contact point happens right in front of your left chest on the forehand side, just so you're in the halfway point of the motion when you're making contact and you're following through forward, having the optimal power transfer when you're hitting the ball. Now let's give you an example of that. So Gata's gonna feed me some balls here and we're gonna start with the wrong motion where I'm just gonna block the ball, go ahead. And you can see here, my motion is just going forward, but not going back at all on the backswing. Now I can hit volleys like that, no problem. The problem is just that the timing is a bit difficult. I'm not gonna have optimal power transfer because my contact point is too far in front. And again, I will struggle to put away balls that come a bit softer. Show that real quick, hit a softer ball to me real quick. The ball will be very soft unless I step through it a bit harder or I add a backswing in order to hit through my volleys. So now I'm gonna show you the right way of hitting the volley, go ahead. Rack it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And one more time. Okay, the key point here is that on every single volley, I'm trying to make sure that my backswing happens as soon as I see that the ball comes to my forehand side. Then I wait back here until the ball is coming closer and once the uh, ball is approaching that contact point that I'm looking for, which again is in front of my left chest, that's when I start swinging. So now I have a swing into my volley, however it's not the same type of swing you see on a forehand, backhand or serve and that's where the confusion kicks in for most people, thinking that blocking the ball is the same as just holding your racket in place and walking or running towards the point where the ball will be. So keep in mind, you're trying to do a backswing on every single volley. Now the same thing goes for your backhand volley, there's no difference. Okay, you have to have a backhand volley with a backswing or else you won't have any power in your forward swing. And thus create shorter balls that are softer and won't do you any good when you're playing your matches. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you guys soon.